see in the near future a crisis approaching that unnerves me and causes me to tremble for the sake of my country. Corporations that have been enthroned in an era of corruption in high places will follow, and the money power of the country will endeavor to prolong its reign by working upon the prejudices of the people until all wealth is aggregated in a few hands and the republic is destroyed. Abraham Lincoln, November 21st, 1864. The concept is simple. Corporations control resources and wealth. Resources and wealth control human behavior. Therefore, corporations control human behavior. Jeffrey Grubb. So what is corporatism? Corporatism is the merger of big business with big government. And as Title 28 U.S. Code of Law states, the United States is a federal corporation. It's where you believe that you are free, but you are not. And a tyrannical psychological world government is already in place without the knowledge of the mass. And what many fear with the pending implementation of martial law has simply already begun. Yet not the same conceptual definition, nor the veracity that many would deem martial law, such as that that has already been accomplished in history's past. This is not so much a physical enslaved gulag, if you will, but a psychological one. One in which the place that each person works is truly their slave labor camp, leaving that by which is most important second to the very thing that enslaves us all. What many fail to realize is that these big governments are no more than the biggest federal corporations in the world, working with other international government corporations and private subsidiaries to implement such a stage of slavery that those of us that live in what we deem reality are really living in that created world by which we are all expendable pawns within the chessboard of life. Some of the bigger corporations, both within the United States and internationally, that are deemed under the guise of being governmental organizations, along with the many non-profit organizations that literally control much of how governments around the world conduct foreign and domestic policy, include but are not subject to the federal government, the Department of Education, the Department of Defense, the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, the CIA, the FBI, InfraGuard, the NSA, the ATF, the EPA, the FDA, the CDC, the National Institutes of Health, the Tavistock Institute, the IRS, the WHO, the United Nations, the Freemasons, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderberg Group, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Rockefeller Foundation, the LABG, OPEC, Goldman Sachs, the Private for Profit Federal Reserve, the IMF, the World Trade Organization, NAFTA, Codex Alimentarius, the World Bank, the International Criminal Court Association, Interpol, and other governmental organizations and affiliations literally control every aspect of our lives. On a mass scale, these corporations slash governments are used in helping to bring us more and more into the chains that we're psychologically brainwashed into believing that we really do have choices. But we don't, and we're given few choices, really, by which we're told we have many. We're indoctrinated to believe that we need these big corporations to live, and in doing so, we literally kill the small entrepreneurs that are trying to make ends meet by buying from the huge corporations that further fool us into believing that we're saving more money by buying from them with low-priced items and receiving great deals. This, of course, becomes a slow decline to weeding out any real free market economy that is capitalism, and it prevents the average citizen from attaining what we're told we have the freedom to accomplish, a good portion of wealth and the pursuit of happiness. Facts simply refute this, and yet the mass is so dumbed down that even showing them the facts emphasize the true statistics they will refute it, basing their beliefs on emotions over verifiable and concrete information. We are truly under a tyrannical imposition, with only a very few select men and women who control the mass amount of wealth in society. This is corporatism, and all others are conformed and dictated to based upon what the mass corporations allow and afford us small little citizens. This, however, and the choices that we make are simply fantasies perpetrated upon us from the news, movies, and other mediated outlets, telling us that we're the pinnacle of a free society and that we live far much better than anyone in history's past, even though the statements are very much contrary from the empirical fact, far from the reality of what we're truly subjected to. Just a few examples of the few choices that we have include, but aren't restricted to, the Bank of America, opposed to Wells Fargo, Ford or Toyota, Smith & Wesson or Springfield Armory, IBM or Dell, Walmart or Target, Coke or Pepsi, Coors or Budweiser, Fox News or CNN, Nickelodeon or Disney, Virgin Records as opposed to Columbia Records, Paramount, 20th Century Fox, iPod or Zoom, AOL or Earthlink, Skype or Vonage, T-Mobile or Sprint, The New York Times opposed to The Washington Post, Zondervan Publishing, HarperCollins Publishing, McDonald's or Burger King, Sam's Club or Costco, and Huggies or Pampers. The list continues on. But even if someone were to bring into the mix generic products, gathering even a little research will show that they are still owned and run by the same mass corporations that control everything else. 
And while the small market economy is subjected to higher taxes, and in cases such as the average farmer in the United States, lawsuits for elements in which cannot be controlled by any means more so than having the giants like Monsanto sue them for the toxic GMOs that pollinate and mix these seeds uncontrollably into healthy and unaltered vegetables and fruits that have been free from these harmful scientifically modified seeds until man started fooling with our most basic life source. Corporatism truly controls every aspect of our lives, our food, our water, the air we breathe, the electricity we use, the healthcare system we're afforded, our entertainment, the way in which we're all indoctrinated and conformed to think a certain way, to dress a certain way, to act a certain way, feel a certain way, to be controlled to want what we are told we should want, along with all of the emotions we are told should come with it, and the broad subjects we're told to fear and think about. The fear of terrorism, side effects of pharmaceuticals, car accidents, stock market shopping, television, new technology, games, clothes, cell phones, restaurants, sport teams, celebrities, and the list goes on. All to keep our minds on the corporate entities that control our lives. This is done so that the mass workers, the ones who truly have all the power, truly know no better. The mass is brainwashed with the illusionary beliefs in order that we're kept in constant control, refusing to question our society and everything within it, along with being controlled to believe that the most important aspects of life to include family and faith are second to making money and working for such. We're further subjected to a hierarchy by which we're in constant competition with one another for a better position, with just enough camaraderie to fulfill our duties for the good of the corporation that owns us. Along with this, the media continually fills our heads with racism, wars, sexism, and other foolish means against each other, so that we continually fight amongst ourselves while the enemy sits back in utter control over us all, not having an answer to any of us. We can deny these facts, but then again, in today's society, we're completely relying on these corporations to provide us with the means to buy all the things in which we need and want, having become so reliant on the very entities that are our slave owners. As Orwell stated, in our world there will only be triumph for self-replacement. Everything else we shall destroy. The past is forbidden, because when we cut man from his own past, we can cut him from his family, his children, other men. There is no loyalty except loyalty to the party. There is no love except love of big brother. All competing pleasures we will destroy. We control life at all levels. We create human nature. Men are infinitely malleable.